According to the Techiman South NPP Youth Group, an earlier call to the Interior Ministry for investigations into the post-election violence in their constituency had not yielded any results, hence the need for them to officially petition the ministry. In an interaction with the media on Thursday, spokesperson for the group, Kwejo Owusu, stated that authorities must conduct an independent investigation into the shooting incident. So we came out as an MPP youth group to petition officially the authorities who are mandated to you know, look into such things so they will come out with their findings and then it will guide us going forward in the future so that that thing does not repeat itself in touching myself again. And then the misconceptions and, you know, tracing of the facts will no more be encouraged. So that people will know that now this is actually what happened after the investigations. If people are to be, you know, punished, so be it. Because we, in our opinion, we thought the security services overreacted. Kwejo Ousu also debunked allegations that blamed the new patriotic party and the 2020 Techman South NPP candidates as orchestrators of the shooting incident. So it's not the NPP or even the Techman South MP who had been declared a winner. He left the scene and that thing later happened. It's not a doing of anybody, yeah. but it was as if the supporters who already gathered at the scene or if you like the coalition center were misled by their leaders. And the information actually went around telling them, or if you like, instigating them, that they have been cheated. And you know, useful exuberance. The youth also went haywire, and that unfortunate incident happened. That is why we are, at this point in time, calling for that independent investigation so that the truth will be told once and for all. People will know actually what happened, and in going forward, that will serve as a guide. The Techiman South shooting incident, which occurred on the 8th of December 2020 as the Techiman South Coalition Center, led to the death of two people, with six others sustaining varying degrees of injury. The Regional Security Council later started investigations into the incident, but no progress has been reported or arrests made so far.